Hello guys, welcome to Baizu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all the computer exams. So today, I am going to give you a small trick regarding how to identify a context free language. In the previous session, we discussed about how to identify a regular language in one of the previous session. Okay. So uh, using this small trick, you can easily identify whether the given language is a context free or a non context free. So uh, before I begin the session, so let me introduce myself and this is uh, myself Morali Krishna Bokasamudram and uh, this is about my brief profile. You can have a uh, look uh, very quickly and uh, let us uh, move on to the session. Before that, I request everybody to please uh, subscribe the channel and also please do like the session and please uh, share with your friends and just press the bell button for getting the notification related to the classes. Okay. And there is a scholarship test on 23rd July at 9 a.m. You can uh, get 90% off on it. And please try to make use of this facility. It is a national level scholarship test for gate exam. And now let me explain how to find uh, a context free language. So as you know, every regular language is a context free language. So I have already told you just how to identify a regular language so that if you just identify that a language is regular means it is always a context free. So every regular language is always a context free language. Every regular language is always a context free language, but all context free languages are not necessarily be regular. For instance, if you find any context free language, any language which is not regular, so whether it is context free or a non context free, how to identify by using stack recognizability. That's what I am going to teach you right now. For example, if L is equal to a power n, b power n such that n greater than or equal to 1 for example. So what are the strings possible here? a b is a string and a a b b is a string and triple a triple b is a string. So a is followed by same number of b's. n number of a is followed by same number of b's. Okay. Now this language is not a regular because there is a dependency. So when it is not a regular then we will check whether it is stack recognizable or not. If it is a regular language by default it is a context free language. Okay. Now, for a language to be context free, it should be stack recognizable. Means through empty stack, we should recognize the sentence. For example, we are having three A's followed by three B's. And we can uh, push the A's into stack. Okay. And three A's we can push into stack. And for each B, we can pop the A's. So we can remember the A's by pushing into the stack. For each B, we can pop it. So through empty stack, we can recognize the sentence. So this language is uh, supposed to be a context free language and uh, also if a computation is required for example i told you language like a power p p is prime here also computation is required it is not a context free because push down automata uh, cannot be possible for the computation like finding whether the given number is prime or not requires a lot of computation so that pda cannot do it so it is not a context free language and also for example if you take a language like this, for example, a power n, b power n, and c power n, such that n is greater than or equal to 1. So, a is followed by b is followed by same number of c's. So, here if I choose 3 a's, exactly 3 b's required, exactly 3 c's required. For example, if I push a's into stack and using b's, if I pop the a's for 3 b's, then exactly 3 c's we can't accept because already stack got empty. So three symbols count equality we can't maintain using a single stack. So this type of languages are not context free languages. Okay. So whenever a language is given, you just have to think about recognizability of the stack. Okay. If you are able to recognize the language through empty stack, it is uh, by default, it is a context free language. And uh, of course, every regular language is also context free language. You have already learned about how to identify whether the given language is regular or not. Okay. Similarly, using this trick, you can identify whether the given language is context free or not. That's all for today. I hope everyone of you have enjoyed the session. And please do subscribe the session. If you have not yet uh, done it, subscribe the channel. And please uh, do share with your friends. Thank you so much. Thank you one and all. See you all. Bye-bye.